Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining us tonight for what's for dinner. I'm gonna be making some black bean lentils chili. All right, I guess Lauren's gonna be helping me. <laughs> so Lauren and I are gonna be making some black bean and lentil chili. I'm gonna turn and show you guys the ingredients that are in here. This is like a one pot meal. Literally takes maybe 15, 20 minutes to make all together after you saute the onions up and get them going. Um, but it's very simple. We've had it before in the past. Again, just want to show you guys what it looks like, what we eat, and how yummy it is. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get cooking. All right, so here are the ingredients. We've got some chopped up red onions, or as we call it in this house, purple onions. Mm -hmm. um, we've they got... do look like purple onions. I oh, know. <laughs> minced garlic. We're going to saute that up in some avocado oil. No chow. Um, for seasonings, we've got some ground cumin, some chili powder, a little salt, a little pepper. Thanks, Lauren. More chili powder. Um, they'll put some lemon, some lemon, lime juice in the mix to give it a little bit of flavor. Going to add a little bit of cane sugar. For the chili, we've got some red lentils. We've got some black beans, and we've got some diced tomatoes, and also some tomato sauce. Make the mixture for the chili with a little bit of veggie broth, and this gives it a little bit more flavor. Some chipotle peppers and adobo sauce. I think I say adobo sauce right. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. So I'm going to open this can up. It doesn't call for the whole thing of this. But I usually cook the whole thing of this. So I'm going to cut these up, show you what they look like, and get everything in the pot and cooking. All right, so this is what the adobo of the peppers, chipotle peppers and adobo sauce look like when it comes out. It looks very interesting. It's only it's just peppers and some type of sauce. So I'm going to take and cut these up to smaller chunks so I'm not eating something this big when I take a bite of chili. So I'm going to cut them down into bite-sized pieces and then add this to my mixture here in just a little bit. All right, so this is what it looks like all nice and cut up. You can see the pepper seeds are still in there. Um, I think these are onions that are in there as well. Um, but this is what the adobo, the chipotle pepper and adobo sauce looks like all cut up. So I'm going to take and add this to the mixture. But before I add this in, I, I just try to make sure I get everything all prepped up. So when we get ready to put it in the pan, all you have to do is just put it all in there. So we're going to go over to the pot. It is warming up. We're going to add in our um, onions and what's that stuff called? Avocado oil. And we're going to saute up the onions first with a little bit of salt and pepper. And then we'll add in the um, spices. So I'm going to add in just a little bit of avocado oil. Lauren's going to pour. So if it's too much, it's not my fault. Lauren did it. <laughs> you always blame me, mother. Okay, that's enough. Told y'all, if, if it's too much, it's not my fault. So put a little avocado oil <laughs> in here. I'm going to mix that around because it is quite a bit. I love you. And I'm going to go ahead and pour these uh -oh. in. Get them sauteed up. You give me a red spatula, Lauren. Red spatula. No, the one. This is good. So we're going to take and saute these up for about four or five minutes, so they soften some. And then I'll add in the garlic and cumin and all that stuff. Come back when these are sauteed down. So. Oh yeah, I forgot. I got to add a pinch of pepper and salt. So. Here's my pinch of pepper. A pinch? I mean, it doesn't look like it. It was a pinch, Lauren. And pepper, salt. That's a pinch, y'all. <laughs> Mix that in, let that cook down. And now we'll be back when that's sauteed down some. All right, since we've got these sauteed down just a bit, I'm going to add in the spices. So I'm going to add in just some garlic. Y'all already saw what kind I use. I use that kind all the time. And then Lauren mixed together for me a little bit of cumin. 
which is right there, some sugar, and then chili powder. I'm going to pour this in, mix all this up, and cook it up. You want to pour it more? Yes, ma'am. The sugar disappeared. Yeah. Take and mix all that up. It already smells yummy with just that in there. Just that in there. That's crazy. Can't wait. Can't wait. Cook this for about a minute or so. Then I'll add in the rinsed off lentils and the black beans and the tomatoes. Tomatoes. And then after I get that mixed together, I'll add in the tomato sauce. And the veggie broth and let that boil up. Hold please while I continue cooking. Alright, since that's cooked down just a little bit more, combine it together good. Now I'm gonna add in, like I said, the black beans, the lentils, the chipotle and adobo sauce, the diced tomatoes, a little salt, a little pepper. Doesn't matter which order. It still all tastes the same. So these are the ones I got, the fire roasted ones. See how they look? I feel like they'll add a little flavor. We're gonna find out today. So those are our diced tomatoes. Hey, you know my model. Waste not one, but that's it. All right, and then we're gonna add in these black beans. Lauren, Lauren rinsed them off already for me. Add the black beans. Add in You're good. these lentils, rinsed and drained. <laughs> hey, they don't want to come out. All right, all right, I guess I'll let it be. Lentils are in, and then, like I said, it calls for a certain amount. I'm going to put in the description the recipe I got this from. It's off of Pinterest. Um, it's on my board. Again, follow me on there. You'll see some things and recipes that we use and we eat that we enjoy. Um, but it doesn't call for this much. But guess what? I add it all anyway. Yum. It helps with the flavor if you ask me. So I put that in there. Add a little salt and pepper. It says <laughs> add a little pepper. And a little salt. Try not to do too much. Mm -hmm. Mix that all together. And then you can come in behind and add your tomato sauce. And your veggie broth. This is what it looks like right now before the lentils cook. Come a little closer, child. Not that close. You're being funny. <laughs> Alright, so this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to add in the tomato sauce. Whoa, that's a lot. I hope I read the instructions right. We'll find out tonight. Okay. Stir that up. We're almost at chili looking, right, y'all? Ooh, yay. Sorry. Pink is the one. And then I'm going to add... I smell it. I smell it. Oh, don't give it away, Lauren. Don't give it away. Add in the veggie bra. This time I just went with my just regular organic veggie bra. Then use the not chicken one to this time. I'm going to go with maybe about two cups to start with. Because the more you put in there, the longer it'll take to cook. But put this in, stir it up, mix it together. Right now it looks like soup. But once the lentils cook, they will expand and absorb that water or broth that I put in. And then we'll be good to go. So I'm going to turn this up, let it come to a boil, and then check it here in maybe about 10 minutes and see what we got. See y'all in a little bit. Alright, so this is what it looks like all cooked up, ready to eat it. Oh my goodness, smells so good. Wish you guys could smell it. But this is our, sorry about the smoke. 
<laughs> black bean and lentil chili. We're going to put it in some bowls. Of course, Lauren's going to be my taste tester. Let y'all know how it tastes and enjoy dinner. All right, so let's get this into the bowl. <clears throat> I'm going to do it right here if you guys can see the yumminess. Mm -hmm. And it literally took about maybe, I want to say 15 minutes to cook this part. So all together with cooking, chopping it up, I would say total 30 minutes to make this meal. This is what it looks like in the bowl. Probably sprinkle a little vegan cheese, dollop of sour cream on there. And go from there. All right, Lauren's gonna taste it for us. Hang on just a second. All right, so this is our cheese we're gonna put on top. Got a little bit left in this bag, so I'm gonna sprinkle that out. Oh, it was just a little, not at all. Lot. Let's get a little more. A little bit more on top, right there, like that. Not a lot, not a lot. Couldn't call for a lot. Then I'm going to put a dollop of sour cream on there. Sorry. That's not open. And <laughs> that's, that's, that's it. Alright, then I'm going to let Lauren taste it for us. This is her bowl I'm making for her. She's holding the camera, but I'm about to take it from her so she can taste it. All right, so she's stirring it up and mixed it all together. That's what hers look like all mixed together. Looks kind of yummy. I'm going to put some cheese in mine now. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Pull back. Let's see. It's hot, so please blow it. Huh? No, go ahead. Who told you it was hot? I said blow. I did. I can't taste it for us. Okay, okay. Oh, what's the faces? Is it good or is it hot? What is it? We need to know. It's both. It's very good. I give it a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of 10? A 10 out of 10. All right. There you have it. Lauren has given it a 10 out of 10. Thank you guys so much for joining us tonight. I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. Um, we'll see you guys next time on What's for Dinner. Right, Lauren? Mm hmm Bye. Be blessed and less stress. Shanti speaks. Allegiant plays. Oh. She is not finna sit up here and plug her channel like that. No. We <laughs> should describe my channel. No. <laughs> Thank you. Bye okay, bye. maybe. LAJ plays. Anywho, but Shanti speaks. Bye guys. Bye.